All right, today is the day we finally learn where that mystery Gerslauer Infinity Coaster will be going that was revealed a couple weeks ago. This is the second major Gerslauer coming to the United States in 2022, along with Defiance going to Glenwood Caverns. This roller coaster is actually going to be called Palindrome and will be going to Codaland in Austin, Texas. This amusement park is extremely new as it opened in November of 2020. And I'm going to be honest, I never heard of this place until about two weeks ago when a couple of people brought up the possibility of this ride coming to this park. But this park wasn't really a top candidate in the minds of most people. One of the main hints we got was that this roller coaster was going to a high profile location and Austin, Texas is one of the fastest growing cities in the country. So that box is definitely checked. This park is also located in a giant racing facility. So that also checks off the box of it being racing themed, at least in some form. We saw this announcement from Ride Entertainment who will construct this ride in the park themselves at IAPA. This will be Austin's first major roller coaster, which is extremely exciting. Today, I'm going to give a full breakdown of what I think of this roller coaster and some of the other things coming to the park in the future. Before we jump into this video, make sure to check out the analysis I did on Airy Force 1 Fun Spot Atlanta's RMC that was just announced yesterday after watching this video. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more analysis content coming soon. With that said, let's jump right in. The coda in the word Codaland stands for the Circuit of the Americas. Codaland is located right inside of the track. This track has been used for Formula One races and NASCAR races. The word palindrome actually means a word, phrase, or sequence that reads the same forward or backward. An example of a palindrome, funny enough, is the word race car. This park initially started out as a kiddie park when it first opened, housing two kiddie coasters currently. But the owners of the park wanted to expand their appeal to older audiences by adding some more thrilling attractions. The park first started off with getting a relocated Schwarzkopf Wildcat from Whitewater Valley which is expected to open later this year. They are also adding another thrill ride called Sky Blazer. This ride will be a circular swinging platform that will see 18 riders side by side. During the ride, riders will be lifted hundreds of feet in the air before a ripcord releases, sending riders swinging in the air across the park. I'm not sure exactly what this ride will look like, but it sounds really cool. All this leads up to the announcement of Palindrome. This coaster will be a Gerslauer Infinity Coaster that will hold three rows of four passengers per train with the standard lap bar restraint. This coaster will have a vertical lift of 95 feet, will feature two inversions and a vertical hop stall before performing the course backwards up until the first drop. This roller coaster will be 1,230 feet long and hit a top speed of 51 miles per hour. Now, let's take a look at the layout. First, you'll take a right turn out of the station into a 95 foot vertical lift hill. Then when you reach the top, you'll hit a near vertical twisted drop. Then you'll do a 0G stall over the road, which should be really cool. Next up is the flipped wave turn, which should provide some powerful lateral ejector airtime. Then you'll go through a high speed inline twist into the vertical spike. This spike actually has an airtime hill built into it, which may feel kind of weird, but I'm honestly not expecting a whole lot from it. Then you will drop down the spike backwards and head through the entire course again backwards, with the exception of the first drop. A turntable will then take you back to the station and that will conclude your ride. This roller coaster is definitely pretty short as there only are a few key elements, but the backwards section of this roller coaster will definitely add to the ride. One thing I did notice about the backwards section is that the train appears to go through it really slow, so you probably won't get much airtime on that wave turn the second time around. But that stall will probably be even better. We haven't really seen anything like this in America from Gerslauer, so this is really exciting. This ride will look similar to something like Mystic out in France. One choice about the layout that I thought was pretty interesting is that they went with a spike with the airtime hill opposed to inverted spike that Mystic has. We don't have anything like that in America other than Flash at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, but I'm sure this spike will definitely get the job done. 
this should be a great addition to Kotoland and should do wonders for this park's attendance. And this ride will probably have coaster enthusiasts from all over the world flocking to it. This is something we haven't seen from Gerslauer in America, so this will be new to the majority of enthusiasts. I think that this coaster could potentially compete for the best Gerslauer in America, so this is definitely something to be excited for. I can't wait to see how the future of Kotoland plays out, and I hope that this coaster does wonders for them. I'd like to know what you all think about this coaster. Do you think it'll be the best Gerslauer in America, or is it too short? Make sure to let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more analysis content coming very soon. With all that said, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.